Hello and welcome to the morning warm-up from Monaco, live here on Eurosport. A slightly later start than usual for the final half-hour chance to fine-tune the car and for us to see whether Damon Hill can keep up the pace that he set in a thrilling second qualifying session yesterday. Damon Hill is one of 26 men who are taken through the track and, of course, this final 30-minute session is as crucial as ever. And a little bit of smoke or something from the back of Katayama's Tyrrell Yamaha. And the reason it is crucial is because... As we saw here for the first time last year, pit stops for refueling and for tyres will be again a feature of this year's Grand Prix. And for Damon Hill, the man on pole position, it is as important for him to work out the correct strategy because in reality, I would expect to see more overtaking on this circuit this afternoon being carried out on the pit lane by quick, sharp, clean pit stops than we're going to see on the circuit itself. And for Michael Schumacher and Damon Hill there, they world championship leader and current second place with only one point between them this race is going to be a real grudge match well, a big battle also in the constructors championship to look for this afternoon with ferrari leading that constructor series by just one point at the moment but they had a pretty bad day or well, we've got a minardi in trouble already down at the lowe's hairpin it looks as though it's luca Bado. a little dif difficult to say from this distance it has to be said but uh, well, Ferrari definitely having a difficult day yesterday, John. It just all went wrong for them. Well, particularly for John Alesi, because he had a problem with the hydraulic system on the car. It came to a rest literally just feet from the pit lane entrance, but he received outside assistance. That's the part of the track that he stopped. And uh, apart from that, of course, the repair to the car uh, would have taken quite a long time. He was allowed, or the team took a decision to curtail Gerhard Berger's qualifying, and I'm sure Berger wasn't really over the moon about that because it meant that he didn't get all the laps that he would have liked to have had the chance and uh, when Nalesi got into the car he only had one flying lap in a car that was set up somewhat differently to his regular car he wasn't able to improve so really Ferrari all expectations from Friday evaporated with a disappointing Saturday. Well, Luca Badoa is climbing out of his Minardi. It looks as though uh, some sort of engine problem has been reported, actually, already. So, Luca Badoa not having a very successful start to this warm-up. He's qualified 16th for the Grand Prix this afternoon. He's out-qualified teammate Pierluigi Martini for just the second time this year. And both of the Minardis quite well up this weekend. But, uh, well, obviously disappointing to see that uh, he's down-stopped there at the Lowe's hairpin.